Hiya folks, Sandro here, and we have some very, very unfortunate cartoon news today. Thea White, the voice of Muriel, this character here, Muriel on Courage the Cowardly Dog, uh, has passed away at age 81, and this is just sad news. I feel like there's a lot of women just passing away re like in their 80s recently. We recent, uh, you guys remember Archer, what was, uh, Mallory, Jessica Walter. You guys remember uh, Mallory from uh, Archer. Ar it's Archer's mother in the show. Um, and she was voiced by Jessica Walter, who I believe died at age 86, I think, off the top of my head. Uh, and it just feels like we're losing like person after person. I mean, I guess some people are going to be like, hey, they lived 80 years. You know, you'd be lucky to live 70. Um, but it's it's just always sad to see. I, I lost my father from a very young age. So I don't know. I feel like these always hit me a little bit harder because I, I love cartoons. I guess maybe I spent a lot of my uh, childhood watching cartoons, you know, w after my dad passed away. So, uh, you know, never a great time. Never a great time. But uh, I do want to read the article here. Uh, we're on Animation Magazine, article by Mercedes Milligan. And I don't think it's that long. It's not that long. Let's let's see here. Uh, okay, so um, actress Thea White, best known for voicing the kind-hearted farm wife Muriel Bagge on Cartoon Network's Courage the Cowardly Dog, died Friday, July 30th. So that's a couple, that was about four days ago from the time of this video, uh, at age 81. Oh, man. I, I hope she, um, you know, didn't, I hope she didn't die like in an accident or I, I hope it was uh, more of a peaceful, uh, you know, death um i hope it wasn't something like you know crazy where like a, a lightning bolt or you know a freaking tree fell on her or something i i hope it was just more of a peaceful uh passing uh uh let's find out here uh may maybe they're not going to tell us what she died of but uh let's find out the news was shared on facebook by her brother john zitzner who explained that his sister had been diagnosed with oh here we go liver can oh that's so sad for some months ago and underwent a tumor removal at the Cleveland Clinic earlier in July. Two days before her death, White underwent an ex exploratory surgery to address infection, but sadly she continued to decline. Oh, and was taken off artificial life support Friday. Oh, that is so sad. That is, r wow. That's not a good one. That is not a good way to go, folks. Um, Wow. Uh, born Thea Ruth Zitner, uh, Zitzner in New Jersey on June uh, 6, 1940, White came to a line of passionate performers on her mother's side. According to a profile, uh, okay, after graduating high school, she studied acting at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts. Uh, and uh, so she began a professional stage career in her 20s while performing in Dallas. She met her future husband, drummer Andy White, who played on Beatles soundtrack. Oh, wow. <laughs> really? <laughs> Andy, okay. Um, who played on Beatles uh, tracks such as Love Me Do uh, and was at the time performing with Marlene Dietrich. This led to White touring with the early 20th century star as her personal assistant until uh, Dietrich was injured on stage in Australia. Uh, Thea and Andy were married in 1983 and eventually returned to New Jersey where they where white decided to get a regular job as an outreach specialist at the living Livingston library. So she was a librarian. No outreach. Spe I, I don't know what an, uh, somebody in the comments knows what an outreach specialist is. I, I don't know. Um, just when she wasn't looking for it, white's big break into animation came when an old acquaintance put her in touch with a production company looking for someone who could speak with a Scottish accent and her husband was Scottish. The retired actress decided to jump on the opportunity, which turned out to be on the hit Cartoon Network show. Wow, that's so weird. So she just she just had an old friend. You know, that's networking for you folks. Never, you got to make some friends in life. You know what I'm saying? Um, networking just does the job sometimes. So she, she networked here and... Uh, you know, opportunity comes calling and she got the call. One of the best things about doing voiceovers is that you never have to retire. White told the New Jersey Hills Media Group in 2002, as long as you can talk, you can work. And oh boy, can I talk. Um, 
Courage the Cowardly Dog was created by John R. Dilworth for Cartoon Network. Uh, and they didn't include him in the freaking new Scooby-Doo um, movie, by the way. Uh, I think I did a video on that talking about it. he was not even involved in this Scooby-Doo meets Courage the Cowardly Dog movie. There's talks to do a prequel show. Um, and I, I actually really I, – I, this article hasn't mentioned it yet, but – I really hope that Thea got to do um, one last sort of hurrah here in Courage the Cowardly Dog on the Scooby-Doo movie. I hope she this was her. I hope she got to voice it. Um, let's see here. Courage the Cowardly Dog uh, meets Scooby-Doo voice, uh, voice cast. Let's see if it comes up here. Uh, da, da, da. Thea White. Okay, so she was Muriel then. She was confirmed uh, as Muriel. I believe her husband, all, didn't he pass away? Uh, he used to do Eustace. Uh, I believe so, right? Um, I'm pretty sure. But uh, let's see here. Uh, so, oh, it was right here. Wait, did it, did it say it down here? Okay, hold on a second here. Uh, so yeah, he wasn't, John R. Dilworth wasn't even involved in the newest Scooby-Doo movie, but that's really great to see that Thea got like one last hurrah. It was kind of like, you know, her last swan song, if you will, uh, being, being Muriel one last time with Scooby-Doo and the gang. That's, that's so sad. Uh, but at least she got to do it one more time, you know, one last hurrah. So, um, let's see, originating as the, what a cartoon short, the chicken from outer space. The 2D series revolves around a small pink dog named Courage. Look, I know who Courage is, okay? This re <laughs> okay, so let's see here. John Zitzner wrote on Facebook that before her passing, White was looking forward to seeing her latest project. Oh, that's so sad. She, passed, she didn't get to see it. She didn't get to see it. The crossover animated feature straight out of nowhere, Scooby-Doo meets Courage the Cowardly Dog, which arrives on home video and Warner Bros. Entertainment in September. She was so close. Why? White was pre predeceased by husband Andy in 2015. Yeah, and he played Eustace, right? I believe they have a new actor for Eustace here. Um, and by her parents, Arthur and Theatrice Zittner. She is survived by brother uh, Stuart Zittner and John Zittner, John's wife, Peg Zittner, and many nieces, nephews, and grandnieces and nephews. So that's uh, just very sad. It's it's great to see that she has such a big family, though. You know, Carrie. Maybe one. Of, hey, maybe years down the line, uh, Courage get. They talked about a Courage the Cowardly Dog reboot, uh, where where Courage is a baby. You know, baby Courage. There's a a very big trend of doing a lot of these baby shows. They even did Total Drama Rama, which was the stupid fucking show with baby versions of the Total Drama Island cast. I I don't. I really don't like that show. I got to tell you. And um, maybe in the future, one of her grand, you know, maybe Cartoon Network will reach out a hand once again and be like, hey, guys, your mom was pretty awesome. Or your, I don't know, grandma, I don't know, she, it says she has grand nieces and nephews. And maybe one of them will get to pick up the torch of Courage, the Cowardly Dogs, uh, Muriel, or some other character in the future. Um, so that's it from me. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. I'll see you next time. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, obviously. Um, very sad to see her passing here. And that's it from me. See you later. Bye.